everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a super fun one because we are going to be doing some first sniffs, some re-sniffs and some first sniffs of the Happiness Blooms collection that is currently available now while supplies last. This is such a fun collection because this is a collection that you can experience actually at Walt Disney World Resorts in Florida. Um, we talk about this from time to time about how fragrance is a whole experience. A lot of times you can smell something and it can take you back to a particular place or time. And it's such an amazing thing to be able to have scent trigger a particular memory or experience. And it's really super cool. So um, we are going to be sniffing through this collection together. I say some re-sniffs and some first sniffs because we actually had this collection last year. And so we actually have three that are returning um, from last year. And then we have three new ones this year. So really awesome. So we will go ahead and re-sniff the returning scents together. I'll give you my thoughts on them. We'll read the descriptions and then we will do some first sniffs of the new ones this year. Now, typically what I like to do is do the first sniffs with my husband, Sean. Um, we do this business together and a lot of you have a lot of similarities and scent preferences to Sean. Uh, we have different scent preferences. So he's more like the citrus fruity scent loving guy and me i'm more bakery most of the time um i love all the scents pretty much but um yeah typically I'm, I'm kind of picky when it comes to floral scents but for the most part my like preference is bakery while his is citrus so um it's kind of fun and especially because i say it all the time everybody's sniffer differs so when you're smelling something it may smell slightly different to someone else or someone else may be able to pick up other notes and describe it in a little bit of a different way so it's always kind of fun to get another person's um, opinion on that. But we are going to do first sniffs with him, but we're actually going to combine these first sniffs for him along with our Mother's Day bars. We did have some early access to that. So look forward to that. Probably going to come up in the next week or so. So if you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. It's super fun when we do the first sniffs together. So be sure you are subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you are notified when we do those first sniffs together. So we're a great time. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and start with the re-sniffs. So the, the scents that are returning from last year so we have heirloom rose we have soft plumeria and mint fields okay let, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room because it's driving me nuts um we have the uh, heirloom rose and soft plumeria here the yellow and pink bars have different packaging i don't know if you can see that very well but this is different packaging than the rest of the bars in the collection um these bars are just kind of like traditional packaging for Scentsy. Even the Mint Fields is traditional packaging. So I'm not sure what's up with that. It kind of bugs me, <laughs> but it's just, it's just a slight, like it's just a slight detail thing. And I, I don't know, I pay attention to the details and I'm like, why, why, why is this, why is this a thing? So I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. It just is what it is. So um, it's fine. That's neither here nor there. That doesn't have anything to do with what things smell like <laughs> so heirloom rose is where we will start um now i can tell you right now this is probably going to be my least favorite scent but you never know you never know i because as i just mentioned i am not huge into floral scents um i'm very picky when it comes to floral scents when it's a floral scent that i like it's a sweet floral it's soft it's subtle it's not powdery it's sweet um this is not any of those things <laughs> This whoo, is so rose in your face. <laughs> if you love a good rose scent, and if you love powerhouse scents, you are going to love this scent and you should add it to your Scentsy Club. That way you can take advantage of the always get my bar perk and Scentsy will continue to send this bar to you forever and ever, amen. Scentsy doesn't do a ton of rose scents, so when, if this is something you love, add it to your club because oh man this is it's so rose it's so rose so let's go ahead and <laughs> and and please don't feel like i'm insulting you if you if you love rose scents that's perfect like there is a scent for everyone and while there may be some scents that i love 
you may absolutely despise them and that's totally okay. That's the beautiful thing about fragrance is that there is literally something for everyone. So this description, Heirloom Rose, is like a breath of fresh air. Garden Rose enlivens the senses with a sprig of lush greens. It's powdery rose. That's what it is. It's, it's, it, it's so rose. <laughs> it is so rose. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to Soft Plumeria. And this one, I feel like from last year, it was... I feel like it may have been on the verge of being too floral for my nose, but I know I liked it better than Heirloom Rose. So let's see. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is, it. yeah, this is a really good Plumeria scent. Um, it is soft and it is sweet. I do like this. Um, I can see myself maybe picking up a couple bars of this. I don't think it's club worthy. I don't feel like I would reach for it enough but we are in the spring months and i go through a phase like right when we're like starting to kick off spring where i'm like in my phase of loving like the pretty like soft sweet florals like luna um we've got a few others but this is really nice this is also really strong so um yeah it's this is pretty but i don't think it's gonna be club worthy like i said i don't know that i'm gonna be reaching for it enough um, but if you have a scent where you're like, oh, I'm kind of on the fence, I feel like maybe I might kick myself later for not adding it to club, you can always add it to your club and then remove it later if you're not reaching for it. So that, that's always an option too. I feel like this is going to be really nice in the fragrance flower because the, uh, th this is available in the fragrance flower as well. Um, really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and talk about the description of soft plumeria. So Scentsy says, and of course this is this is a floral category scent here. Um, so the description of soft plumeria is pink plumeria evokes memories of island days with a slice of sweet apple and warm white teak wood. It's nice. It it is really nice. So it's so hard because when I'm when I'm smelling these, it like is growing on me more and more, and it doesn't help that I'm like getting ready to go into my like soft sweet floral face <laughs> it's like a few months and well or i don't know if that's yeah it's a few months where i'm like really craving like soft sweet florals it's really pretty okay soft plumeria okay now let's talk about the last one that is returning and this is mint fields mint fields is absolutely going to be added to my club because this is one as you can actually see, <laughs> I actually have one from the la from last year that I was just kind of hanging on to because I wound up really loving it. See, and that's what happens when I'm like hemming and hawing about like soft plumeria. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But this one was one that I did not add to my club and I kind of regretted it later. I warmed it and I really, really enjoyed it. So Ah, oh, this is so good. This is such a true mint scent. So beautiful. So herbal and earthy. And it, it's kind of giving me, if you remember Mojito Mambo, this is giving me kind of the Mojito Mambo vibes. So it's really nice and refreshing without it being like toothpaste. This is earthy, true mint scent. So mint fields. Love that. Oh, let's read the description. How about that? Okay, Mint Fields is described as wander an invigorating field of spearmint leaves. That's what it is. It's the spearmint that's coming through. And peppermint leaves with a light breeze of crisp greens. I would totally agree with that. It's earthy. It's herbal. It's, it's a true like minty scent. It's not minty like toothpaste. Um, it's like leafy, minty goodness there. Okay, now let's do some first sniffs. Let's see here. So I have some assumptions on what I think I'm gonna like the most. So I'm gonna start with what I, I don't think I'm gonna like as much and then like hopefully end on what I think I'm gonna love the most. So um, new this year is Garden Fresh Gardenia. So it's gonna, it's gonna be floral in our face, I feel like. <laughs> so let's see. Oh! This is actually not bad. Am I becoming a floral lover? I just can't, I just can't do, I just can't do rose scents. But this is pretty. I, again, I don't know that it's club worthy, but I feel like this is really pretty. 
that's nice. This reminds me of something. See, scent can trigger memory. This does remind me of something. I don't know if it's a potpourri or something from like my childhood. I, this is really pretty. Wow, okay. Gar Garden Fresh Gardenia is the intoxicating essence of gardenia petals wafts through fresh air in a garden of lush greens. That's the thing about each one of these scents is that it's very, it smells very authentic. It's not, I don't know. It's just, it's so good and so rich. Yeah, this is really nice. Now they're categorizing this as fresh and I actually can kind of, get that feel and i feel like maybe that's what it is i like i was thinking it was going to be kind of heirloom rose ish um but no this is almost yeah there is like a freshness to this that's really really nice but still staying true to like an authentic like floral scent but it is leaning fresh as well if that makes sense it's really nice garden fresh gardenia taking me by surprise okay uh, the next new release this uh, season for this collection is Hibiscus Sunset. Pretty purple wax. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is pineapples. Oh, you know what? Oh. I think, oh man, okay, I think this might take the place in my club of Berry Fairy Tale. If you saw my recent um, empties video talking about uh, like what I've been warming and getting through, I have Berry Fairy Tale in my Scentsy Club. Again, Scentsy Club perk, always get my bar. I have had this bar, Berry Fairy Tale, in my club for like five years. And uh, it's the scent strength is kind of, at least the bars that I warmed, like I, I really couldn't smell it. So, but this smells like that but honestly a little bit better and stronger. Just on cold, obviously anything can happen when we warm it up, but whew, this is good. Okay, uh, this is, ah, yes, I'm just loving this scent, you guys. Okay, the description here is take a sip of tangy pineapple, uh, sorry, tangy pineapple juice sweetened with a splash of peach nectar and garnished with a showy tropical hibiscus. Absolutely. I'm also feeling like, so definitely pineapple forward. I do pick up the peach. I also pick up almost like fruity berries as well. It's not floral in any kind of way. Is this, yeah, they're, they're calling this fruity. I think that's absolutely appropriate. This. Oh man, if you, if you are familiar with, excuse me, familiar with Berry Fairy Tale, if it's not in your club, if you miss it, this is that, but better. Oh. Man, that's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So far. Okay. I have to like keep track. Okay. Because I always like to give you like what I would rate these scents. Okay. So last and most certainly not least, what I think I'm going to like the best, but we'll see. We have had some surprises here. Um, Glorious Grapefruit. And of course, this like beautiful coral pink. Uh, color wax here. Okay, so glorious grapefruit for sniffs. <clears throat> yeah, that's nice. This is just a good, oh man, this is like so authentic, juicy grapefruit. Oh, this is beautiful. Sean's gonna like this. They have like hit the nail on the head with all of these scents, even heirloom rose, because it's, it's very rose forward but that's the point <laughs> that's the point of it they have done such a good job with this happiness blooms collection oh my gosh definitely citrus all grapefruit this is the perfect grape grapefruit scent it's perfect now if it performs that'll be even better and all of these scents don't smell like they're going to be super light so i'm a fan of that too okay so the description here glorious grapefruit is Fresh squeezed pink grapefruit and juicy orange combine in this subtropical scent with a sprig of green leaves. It's so good. It's such a true grapefruit scent. It's like making my mouth water. I'm like, this is so good. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rate these. I have them, this, this was actually a pretty easy one to rate here. So again, all six bars are currently available um, while supplies last. You can choose to do, they have like bundled just like the new releases if you wanted, just the new releases, the three new ones <clears throat> for $17. Or you can even build your own bundle of three bars for $17, that's US pricing. Or you can also do buy five, get the six for free when you bundle six bars and you can build your own bundle. Shoot, you can do all six of the same scent if you want to. You can do three of one scent, three of another. The world is your oyster. Whatever you, whatever your perfect bundle looks like, um, you, can, you can do that. Make sure you go into the specials tab and go to bundle and save and build your bundle there. Okay, so how I'm going to rate these. So in sixth place, no one's surprised, heirloom rose. And it's just not for me. It's exactly what it should smell like. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. And that's totally okay. If, if you love rose scents, happy birthday to you because Scentsy has delivered. <laughs> and like I said, there aren't a ton of just rose specific scents. We have some scents that have like hints of rose or like it's in the notes in the scent description, but very few like simply rose. And I'm trying to think of like there's maybe one or two others that we've had, um, but just a straight rose scent we don't typically do very often. So if you love rose, happy birthday to you. For me, it's my number six of this collection. Uh, number five would actually be Garden Fresh Gardenia. And that's not, I'm actually, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. To be totally honest, I am actually really kind of looking forward to warming this. Yeah, it's it's floral, but it's fresh. It's so hard to describe. It's floral, but fresh. And yeah, I would say this is a great fresh gardenia scent. So that would be my number five. Number four would be soft plumeria. Watch this wind up in my club. Just watch. <laughs> because it's so pretty. It really, it really is very, very pretty. So soft plumeria would be my number four. And then uh, let's see here at number three would be Mint Fields. And I'm actually surprised. Like, I I don't know. No, this is, the, the last three are not really what I was expecting, I don't think. But, um, cause I was honestly feeling like, I don't know. I guess this is pretty much what I was expecting. I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just shocked at how much I actually really enjoy the Soft Plumeria and the Garden Fresh Gardenia. I, I really like those. I'm really, I might actually even enjoy them. <laughs> um, Mint Fields would be my number three. Great one. It will go into my club. It's such a, it's such a great scent. Uh, number five uh, would be, this is where I'm kind of surprised, would be Glorious Grapefruit. I thought that was going to be my number one. And while it's super close, this is, this is definitely my number five. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for Sean to smell these. This is gonna be his favorite. And I'll do I'll do like what I did last time we did, like a first sniffs separately. Um, I'll write down what I think his picks are going to be. This is gonna be way too easy for me, for him. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's kind of fun to do that. But yeah, so my number five glorious grapefruit doesn't, or number five, number two, would be my glory would be glorious grapefruit um it's so good it's so good but, and that's not to say that i don't love it i absolutely love it and i do think it is going to go into my club along with number one spot hibiscus sunset it is just so crazy how good this is and how much this smells like berry fairy tale but better Cause they're, they're not, it's not a dupe, but it is very, it's better. Like it's, it's like, it's, I don't know, fancy older sister or something. I don't know. Oh man. I love this. Mm, so good. So number one, Hibiscus Sunset, my absolute favorite of this collection. Number two, Glorious Grapefruit. Number three, Mint Fields. Number four, Soft Plumeria. Number five, Garden Fresh Gardenia. And 
bringing up the rear end here, Heirloom Rose, number six. So, but honest and truly, this is a great collection and you, we definitely check a lot of boxes with the different types of scents here. There's literally going to be a bar for absolutely everyone, at least one bar in this collection for absolutely everyone. Um, I think Scentsy has done such a fantastic job on um, having these be tried and true, authentic scents for, for these, specific sense. It's, it's fantastic. I love it. So, um, that is currently available. Like I said, this is the happiness blooms collection. You can purchase the bars individually, or you can build a bundle and save the bars are available in this collection. And we also have fragrance flowers in soft plumeria, heirloom rose and mint fields as well. So super cool, but I, my bars are here. So I wanted to share with you my thoughts. I think this is a great little collection. So awesome. Let me know down below in the comments. Have you picked up anything from this collection? What are your thoughts on the scents in this collection? I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.